Hey guys, so we're just going to be continuing from last week where we did uh, some basic analysis on the Titanic dataset. We're going to expand on that today and look at more details and factors to identify what else correlates to the survival rate of a passenger. So let's get started. All right, so we left off last week having all this data. If you want, you can check out the previous video. i will talk about how we got here. Uh, basically, we looked at three different things. We looked at survival rate by gender, survival rate by embarked ports, and survival rate by passenger class. So now we're going to go in deeper and look at age distributions and how that correlates to survival rate. Uh, here I just made a histogram that takes 20 bins or 20 buckets uh, of different age groups. So we have 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, and 70 to 80. In between there are other buckets, for example 0 to 5, 5 to 10. So uh, all, all this does, it takes it takes the age distribution and buckets them into these groups and plots a histogram or a bar plot in this case and uh, shows you the pattern and this looks pretty normally distributed uh, we can see that the age group 30 has the most people and uh, the age group 70 plus has the least so yeah let's see how that correlates to our uh, analysis the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to plot the uh, survival rate by age group and we're gonna make four bins. The first bin is gonna be zero to 17. The second is gonna be 18 to 29. The third is 30 to 49, and the last is 50 plus. So uh, we note here that the group zero to 17 of age has the highest survival rate, and they were uh, pretty, they had a pretty large population uh, among the people who were on the, among the passengers who were on the boat. The age group of 30 to 49 had a second highest survival rate. They also had a large population, so that was expected. The other two age groups, 18 to 29, uh, they are right here. They had a pretty decent population size too, uh, which was surprising uh, why the survival rate was so low for them. They had the lowest survival rate. And the last group we have, 50 plus, uh, these people had the lowest population out of the uh, out of the passengers in the boat. We conclude that from this data, if you were younger, maybe a teenager, you would have the highest likelihood to survive. Next, we wanna look at uh, total family size and survival rate. Obviously, there were family members on the ship. I wanna look at family size and if that plays a role in survival rate. So here, I made some buckets to see family sizes ranging from one to 11. We note that there were no families greater than the size of seven. The highest family size survival rate was the family size of four. So this tells us, or at least this tells me that um, the family size four had the highest correlation to survival rate, uh, which is pretty interesting because I would think a smaller family size would be easier to save, but I guess somehow the additional numbers in a family size help with the survival rate. We note that the family size of six had the lowest survival rate, family size of five had the second lowest, and family size of seven had pretty high survival rate compared to the trend. Um, I would expect a larger family size, like the family size seven, to have the lowest survival rate, but looks here that it did not have the lowest survival rate. This is interesting. We could go in and look at this further. Maybe there's a correlation between uh, this family size and age distribution. Maybe the family was a pretty young group, or uh, maybe there's other factors there that are playing a part in this spiked uh, survival rate. Otherwise, that's all we have for today. This is the analysis. We're getting deeper and deeper. This is probably a pretty good data visualization project you can put on your resume or your portfolio. Uh, I recommend trying machine learning with this specific data set because there are specific models you could use to predict survival rate with uh, the factors here. For example, you could use a multi-linear regression model. It would take into account several factors like sex, uh, passenger class, and embarked parts, or you know, family size, stuff like that it will be pretty interesting to see what the reasoning is for their survival rate. So yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope to see you guys in the next video.